Hey there muses, this is Kay with her muse where we are all about making meaningful connections and we are sitting here with Eve Sands of Eve Sands Photography. We're right in her studio and if you look on the wall behind us, you will see another one of our founders, Janine Gray. So tell us a little bit how you started your photography studio. What, what was your inspiration behind it? Wow, let's see. Um, well, many years ago, just before I left um, the States to go live in Europe, my dad bought me a used Nikon. And it was just a manual camera, an old film camera, and while I lived abroad, I was really into um, capturing kind of what I was experiencing there. And then, um, I've always obviously had a love for photography, but it was really my dad that kind of started that Pushed fire. That. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because he was very good at documenting my life as I grew up. And, you know, I always say to my clients, you are going to be there to document the day-to-day -day and what happens in your children's lives, but... We like to document um, their milestones. Mm -hmm. So for instance, especially a child's first year, they grow exponentially from the time that they're born to the time that they turn one. It's a completely different child. So what we like to do is try and capture milestones from um, maternity to birth to three months when they start to hold up their head and they're looking around to mm -hmm. six months when they're sitting up and they're checking things out. and they're, That's like the golden age because they're very interactive with mom or dad and giggle a lot. Right. And then nine months they start to crawl a lot of times where they're standing up and walking along things and then of course the one year where they're typically taking their first steps. So you specialize in newborn and maternity. And, right. And family portraiture mm -hmm. and business portraiture. Any, any kind of fine art portraiture is what we like to do in the studio. So that's really become our niche um, these days. We also um, will do small events and stuff like that. But really we want our clients to know us for um, doing fine art portraiture. Okay, so you talked a little bit about your dad. Was he the inspiration behind your your passion of photography? Oh, of course, because he was so good at documenting my life that in turn, especially now that I have young children, I want to document their lives. So I do, you know, from the moment that they were born, I set up their first appointment um, with a photographer when they were four days old. Mm -hmm. So it's something that I've always enjoyed and I... I would love to continue it. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> so, so switching gears a little bit, yeah. what is one of your most favorite things to do in your social life, your career, or even like what, one of the things that you like to incorporate in your family life that you think is really fun? Well, I always look forward to traveling. Mm -hmm. um, it's something that even before we had children, we used to travel a lot, and I never, um, a lot of times people will tell you when you have kids, Oh, forget it. You travel before because you're not going to have time. <laughs> but we still do. My kids are very well traveled. My son has been, all of our family lives in Spain. Oh, so wow. our oldest son has been there three times already and he's only five. He's getting well cultured. All yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's certainly learning how to sit still on a plane. That's for sure. Because <laughs> it takes a long time to get there. But it's, um, you know, and even the ante anticipation before you go on a trip, you know, mm -hmm. putting everything together and looking forward to it. I think I almost enjoyed that even more than when we finally get there because right. by the time you get on the plane, you're like, oh, finally, yeah, you're <laughs> yeah, exactly. trying to get there. Exactly. <laughs> so that's always fun. But we um, we have a lot of fun doing things as a family and getting together with friends. I'm very active with our neighborhood. Um, we have a lot of parties and get-togethers mm -hmm. with our neighbors. I know everyone in our neighborhood. Um, even my clients, because we're a home-based business, my clients have even co commented, like, I think you live on the friendliest neighborhood in the world. <laughs> They're... We just have a great camaraderie here, and um, I'm also very active with the Tampa Area Professional Photographers Association, mm -hmm. and same there. We have a great camaraderie, and we all support one another, and we want to further our education and educate the public on how important it is to document their families, because time does pass, and they're not going to stay small forever. Right. Or the importance of getting a proper business portrait, because that's going to be the first face that your client, your potential client, is going to see. So we want to make sure that you project professional or whatever your your um, business might be but you want to project that in your right your portrait. Your, exactly so you mentioned that you are very active within the community and mm -hmm. you like to incorporate family uh, travel and a lot of your neighborhood is involved also so um, how do you juggle all of that? How do you balance all of that? It's, I know we're, we're always moving and on the go as women, and we're taking on a whole lot more as professional oh, isn't that the women. truth? 
<laughs> it's a challenge nonetheless. Um, I'm very fortunate. I've got a wonderful husband that is very supportive of me. He works with me full time. This is not a part time business by any means. This is our 100% of our income is the studio, this little studio. So I'm very fortunate that if I'm with the kids, he's with um, like retouching or working on clients' orders or uploading them on the internet or um, putting in orders or whatever needs to be done. I primarily am the shooter and I will capture my the, the images mm -hmm. and then he'll help me with the retouching. Both of us you know, kind of tackle that. Um, and we also believe in causes and paying it forward as well. Mm -hmm. um, we have a little girl that we've um, been documenting her life journey since she started in the studio and she was still in her mommy's belly. Wow. And um, she was diagnosed about two weeks before her first birthday with SMA. Oh, no. And her name is Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a website called Brooklyn's Journey. If you have an opportunity to check it out, she has spinal muscular atrophy, which means that um, she will most likely never walk, but I know her parents have high hopes. She's doing great in aqua therapy right now. Um, she's just been a little miracle child. So we support her um, with different fundraisers, and her mom has just been a huge advocate for SMA. Right. So it. what I love about Eve Sands Photography is that you incorporate, like, the whole family life into it. Your oh, family is totally incorporated and infused within your <laughs> business. So it makes it a little bit interesting. I'm sure you've, you've got interesting stories behind Oh, no, most definitely. <laughs> most definitely. <laughs> well, I think also my clients relate very well with me because we're kind of in the same boat essentially right. and when they come with little kids and and you know I obviously know how to relate with little kids and play with them and have a good time with and them you got two boys right I've now. got two boys myself <laughs> yeah and you know little girls are so easy because they've got all kinds of really sweet props I'm not very heavily into um, props and what have you but if I do I want it to really sh display the, the child, the child and show exactly. off the child and the relationship I'm more about the relationship that either the kids have with each other or with their parents or with a grandparent or their cousins. I've got kids that come in here. They might be on my um, plan where they come on a regular basis to get um, uh, pictures done or portraits taken. And at Christmas time, they'll bring in their cousins and do something for grandma. So I think mm -hmm. that's really sweet that they, you know, always try to, they're also very family oriented. Right, right. So, um, so you talk about like the volume of your life, how you balance it all, how you incorporate family into mm -hmm. it. Aside from that, what's your, what's your biggest fear, whether it's like career oriented or just in general? <laughs> well, it can be career oriented, obviously. And especially having young children, it's, um, their health mm -hmm. and making sure I also, um, have had the pleasure or the experience of going to All Children's Hospital mm -hmm. and photographing um, children during the telethon that they have once a year. Mm -hmm. And when you, after doing an event like that, you come home and you grab your own kids and you're like, oh, You just cherish them a little bit more so healthy, right? after seeing other uh, situations. Oh, absolutely. I think it helps to put things in perspective. Mm -hmm. And anytime that you get caught up in life itself, you know, we all get caught up in your living that moment. Sometimes you have to step back and remove yourself from the situation and just say, okay, I need to clearly see where I'm going and what I'm right. doing and try and clarify what your, your goals are and what your, what your, what path, your motivation, your motivation becomes. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. So, um, we've got a quirky little question for oh, you now. Sure. <laughs> what color are your toenails? <laughs> Right now, they're kind of a copper color. Kind of I think they're really... very cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more into like very neutral, natural mm -hmm. colors and tones and stuff like that. I was actually just talking with a friend of mine, his aunt. Actually, she was saying how there there's certain people who wear like a lot of loud colors. Yeah. And I was saying, I just can't do all of that. I've got to keep it real and simple. And I love the natural look that you've got going on. <laughs> I have a theory to all of that too. I've got a girlfriend that she's really mellow and kind mm -hmm. of easygoing. And she likes very vibrant colors. Mm -hmm. I think that kind of makes but, up for her personality yeah, a little bit. Bounces her up. Because I'm so over the top. <laughs> I like very neutral colors. I think that kind of balances me out. And a lot of times we tend to decorate in like how we would dress. Exactly. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Well, you are so fun. Thank you so much, Katie, for coming on. Oh, we've had a fabulous time. So if you want to learn